I am here with one of my favorite lizards of all time, the Cuban false chameleon. In this video, we're going to talk about these guys and show you guys how to properly care for one. Now the Cuban false chameleons, as you can see, they are very, very laid back. They're not a very skittish lizard, so it's a, a very good pet. Now I love these guys because they're just so bizarre. They have that weird cask on their head that resembles them to a chameleon, along with those eyes that that's where they get their name, false chameleon, because their eyes can be can independently move. That gives them that look of a chameleon. It isn't a chameleon, it is actually an anole species from Cuba. These guys in the wild, they're gonna be found different plantations, coffee plantations. They're also gonna be found in fruit plantations. They're gonna be found in, amongst a lot of canopy, you know? They don't like the sun so much. They kinda wanna be in between all the canopy. So that's why we provide a lot of shade for these guys. This is not an animal that's gonna be basking out most of the time. They're gonna be in between the canopy, kinda like just chilling, waiting for a snail to come by so they could eat it. Now this large bodied anole is a specialized snail hunter in the wild. These guys are very slow moving, so they're gonna look for the slowest prey possible. As you can see, another name for them is the Western Bearded Anole because of those little spikes they have underneath their chin. Now these lizards are made to climb in the canopy. They have little specialized feet that have little toe pads and little nails that help them cling onto branches. With that being said, they are pretty lazy and they are pretty clumsy. I will find these guys falling from the branches all the time and they just kind of like get up and just walk up to the top like there's nothing wrong. So the males and females could be easily distinguished by two pre-anal scales that they have on the bottom of their tail. They have these as soon as they're born, so technically you could sex these as they hatch. Now the males will also develop a hemipenal bulge as they get larger, but when they're babies, they're gonna have the two prominent scales right here. These guys in captivity aren't gonna be eating the snails every single day. It's just a hard food to find. They will also eat insects very readily. So they'll eat crickets, superworms, hornworms, every kind of insect that you feed to your other lizards, you're gonna be able to feed to these guys. You just wanna make sure you coat them with calcium and D3. All right guys, if you keep lizards, it is super important that you get quality insects. I get all my insects from dubiaroaches.com and you could use our code TikisGeckos15 for a 15% discount. He seems to like it. Now these guys in captivity are very easy to keep. If you happen to live in Florida, you could actually keep them outside under complete shade. And you also wanna give them plenty of bushes and stuff that they could hide in and cool down. You don't want them exposed to the sunlight at all times. They come from a canopy area, so they're not gonna be wanting to be exposed to full sunlight all the time. There could be parts of the cage that are gonna be exposed with sun, but you don't want it to be hot the whole time. Now in this enclosure, this is a screen enclosure. It's four foot tall by two foot wide, two feet deep. That's a perfect size for one or two Cuban false chameleons. If you wanna keep three or four, you could even go a little bit bigger. You can make a custom build cage. Now these guys don't use a lot of their environment. They don't need the biggest of cages because they kind of just hang out in one part of the enclosure for the majority of the day. You know, you always wanna be able to give them um, enough space. If you are keeping them inside, you could keep them in glass enclosures, like a 18 by 18 by 24 is gonna be adequate for one of these animals. If you keep them inside, you, you're gonna wanna provide a UVB bulb of 5.0 and a small heat bulb of like a 50 watt just in one corner of the cage so they can heat up if they want. Now these guys do live Woo! and they jump. They're arboreal so they like to jump but these guys do live up to 10 years. They could even live 12, 15 years with the proper care and they eat. Don't worry guys, he's okay, he's okay. He's pissed now. But this is what, <laughs> this is what it looks like when they're mad. Now they they have this dewlap like a lot of the different anoles and they will open their mouth like they're getting ready to bite you. Now I'm gonna put this guy back. You see, he's trying to get me right now. I'm gonna put him back so I don't stress him out too much, but I just wanna show you how cool that tongue is. They have a black tongue that they use and it's pretty sticky. When they get a, a snail or a worm on there, that snail ain't going anywhere. So I'll go ahead and put this guy back. He's trying to bite me really bad right now, but I'm gonna put him back. He just fell. He's right here. If you're keeping them in captivity, you wanna make sure they have plenty of foliage. Foliage. 
They like the thinner branches more than they do the big branches for whatever reason. They're gonna hang out in one spot ma major the majority of the time. Definitely a great pet to have if you live in an apartment or if you live in Florida and you can actually keep them outside. Now, one of the most important aspects to keeping Cuban false chameleons is their hydration. These guys drink a ton of water and they will just sit and drink from the mister itself for minutes on end. So you wanna make sure that they have a good misting system and a pretty high humidity. These guys can get anywhere from eight to 10 inches long and they're gonna cost about 150 to $200 for the females as a baby and $100 to 150 for the males as babies. Now adult prices can range, they could get higher than that, but typically that's what you're gonna find them for. Babies are the most common thing to find and that's what we recommend starting off with just so you could grow your own little guy and they could be friendly unlike that last guy that we held die guys if you're interested in one of these beautiful animals i highly recommend getting one they are definitely some of my favorite anoles in the world and that's going to wrap up this video i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys on the next one